Hey guys, my name is Jason from Soda Land, and in today's video, we're gonna be trying out and making new chicken waterers, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then also, there's too many chickens in these chicken coops, and so we need to finish making our latest chicken coop, and then we're gonna move some chickens out up on the mountain. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's never been a chicken raised up this far up on this land. I'm back at Tractor Supply. They're helping me out again, guys, this year. And that's how they, they deliver it. They have it stacked up on top of each other. I forgot to ask them to separate it because that just helps me out if it was separated because we have egg layer feed and then we have uh, more pig feed. That should be good. All right, it's leaning. It's leaning a little bit that way, so. That was a little sketchy driving down the road because it's leaning. But we got it, we strapped it. All right, we're gonna see what this little tractor can do. This is a thousand pounds. So this tractor is not big enough for to lift 2,000 pounds, but 1,000 pounds. Hey pigs, hey pigs. We're about two weeks away before we have our workshop and put these three in our freezer. Now my hams, we're doing two different workshops. One, we're gonna be skinning a pig, showing how to, folks how to do that, and then also how to scald. All right, now it's time to move the chicken nuggets. This is one of my favorite things to do in the morning. I don't know why, I like moving chickens. You gotta move them kinda slow, especially right now, they're still a little bit little. The hook, when you turned yeah. too sharp, it broke the little. Oh, it broke the little clevis. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the chicken tractor. <laughs> some new water equipment. These are dome drink waters from Premier One. Now Premier One is where I get my netting, my solar chargers, 
and my heat lamps. And these are brand new. So they sent me these. I said, hey, I want to try these out. We have three chicken meat tractors that I want to put this on. Every year I try something a little bit different. We've done the nipple drink waters for a number of years. Say chicken nipple waters three times. Chicken nipple water, chicken nipple water, chicken nipple water, chicken nipple water. And then we also done the drink cups. Not a fan of the cups with meat chickens. They're too rough, they're too rough. Drawback from using these waters is one, they perch on top of this. And then also if you forget to unscrew the cap, it doesn't give them any water. They haven't got smart enough that you can they can perch on these things. We have about 40 chickens in here and that's why I built, I just built the other one because I'm gonna split these up between, there's 40 and about 40 and 40 in each one of these. Also in the summer, they'll go through one five gallon bucket of water a day. These are the base that goes underneath right there and they're, you know, there's a little bit of weight to it. I think because it's gonna be dangling down. It's not gonna be sitting on the floor. This is an all thread threaded rod. So this is a wing nut, you gotta take that off. And you pop that on. And you take this. Pop that all thread from a hole down below. And that screws on. Wing nut, screw that on. I'm gonna show you what they got going on here. And there's an actual uh, a filter in here to filter out some of the water. And that also controls the flow as the water trickles down here. The water's not gonna be in there. It's just gonna be on this lip right here. I'm gonna try to use what I have here. I believe I have some extra buckets, preferably with one of these threads on it, which this was an old water that I had. Now they have all these accessories on the Premier One website. So you can either buy it there or go to your local hardware store now. Not guaranteed that the hardware store is gonna have these because I had to go to three, four different places. That tractor supply, I think they have it here. Look at that. This is actually for a sprayer, but I think we can make, we can make do. This is a hose fitting to the 3 8 barb. And that's just gonna screw on there. You got 3 8 hose, you put on the clamp, and then the barb, because once it's in there, it's in there, man. It's hard to take out. And then you clamp that down. And now we gotta install this out on the field. And now we gotta hang this up. It has this little plastic thing where you can adjust the height. The trick to this working is that this bucket that sits on the outside needs to be elevated higher than the water. We'll screw that on. And then we gotta measure, figure out where we gotta cut to length, feed it through the, the wire mesh, the poultry netting. And then this barb is attached onto this water and then you have to just push that on there. Now you could put a stopper on this, like a valve, to close off the water and then take the bucket off and then go fill it. Or you could leave it like this, grab another bucket. Because the water is moving, I, they are definitely more curious and it seems like they're drinking a lot more. <laughs> all right, we made it on top of the mountain. I never had chickens up here all last year. They have always been down there. We've had the beefy boys up here, moving them around. And then I really want the chickens up here so that way they can start fertilizing the soil because that grass over there, down, down there, compared to this grass, is so much better and I really think it's because of the chickens. Now that we moved the new coop up on the mountain, we need to distribute these guys. We're gonna put 25 up there. This is a chicken crate. And they're small enough that we can fit 25 in here.
Our new waters. I'm excited for those. Chickens on fresh grass. Actually more roomy in this style of coot that I made. You know, basically it's a John Siskovich chicken tractor, except it's round and you can move in here a little bit better. I made the doorway a little bit wider and I think it's also lighter. I use less material down on the sides here and then around the door frame, less material. I do still need to make a trough, a long trough for them, for their food. Now I'm probably making it more work for myself because I did move them all the way up on the mountain and the other two chicken tractors are way down there. So, you know, chores are gonna take a little bit longer this year. I got a whole feed up here, water. I mean, we have no water up here. That, you know, that's something I've been wanting to work on, but I didn't want that to be my excuse of not putting some animals up here. From there, we're gonna move them and keep moving out this way, out that way to where the line goes. And then we're gonna keep moving them back and forth. So I'm not moving them uphill. I'm moving them on the side of the hill. So make it a little bit more easier. We got the wide track chick lift, new water system. And here's a safety feature that I have on all of my coops. This is a solar powered, it goes off with motion. So I'll put a link down these for you guys to check out, but I've been using these for a few years now. You know, hard to tell if they actually work, but I haven't never lost a chicken in one of these coops before. So maybe they do work. And with that light, if that turns on, I can see that from my kitchen window. And so that might tell me, hey, maybe there's something out there. I just like the clean edge. It's round, you know, it's up right up to there versus the other coops where it's kind of like up higher than, than the roof here. And it just looks a little messy, but I think I just like the, the cleaner, cleaner look on these. Fun video today. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. I know there's a ton of content out there so much stuff and info in the world and you guys chose to watch my videos so thank you so much for that i appreciate every single one of you guys uh, this was a fun video to do to make to film uh, a ton of work but you gotta love it right so thank you guys for being here and we'll see you guys on the next one